Hey guys, I'm Common Rider Silver, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of my birthday presents. So my birthday was a couple of weeks ago, and in that I got so many awesome gifts from my parents, my friends, and just stuff that I bought around the same time that I consider gifts to myself. Some of those being awesome hetera figures. We've got a plethora of Hedora or Smog Monster figures here that I wanted to take a look at in one video. Two of them being Super 7 reaction figures and one of them being a CCP figure. So this is just going to be a quick video unboxing them, looking at them, looking at their color schemes, and comparing their differences. So let's get right into it. I want to start with the Super 7 figures, since they are the same figure but two different colorways. I want to kind of look at them together. Their card art is the same, just different colors. Their sculpts are the same, just different colors. This one obviously is a normal hetera. And this one is in a vintage toy Hawaii color scheme. Um, as you're going to see here in a little bit, these color schemes date back quite a bit and are homages to um, classic Japanese Sofubi toys like ones right here. So that's what this color scheme is referencing if you didn't know and of course this one is just a regular hetero. Uh, on the back you can uh, see these were released at different times because the normal hetero doesn't have quite as many uh, figures on the back as the Hawaii one does and as you can see up here there is another hetero that I don't have, um, but it is the same colorway as the CCP one we're gonna look up, we'll look at. So that is why I didn't get that one. So let's open these up. Here they are outside of the box. They're uh, they're a good. They've got a good little weight to them. They are not so fubi like the other one we're gonna take a look at. They're a hard plastic, but they've got a good little bit of heft to them. And when I took them out of the box or out of the shipping box, these were a lot larger than I thought they were gonna be. I have a couple of other Super Seven Godzillas, but I believe they're a little bit smaller and a little less bulky. These are quite bulky. Uh, they've got some articulation up and down. Because of the sculpt, you can't really go all the way around. I guess you could probably push it, but I'm not going to. Um, you got some little leg articulation. Kick out right there. Got a little swivel at the tail. So, you know, just standard 5 POA on these. Oh, yeah, look at that Hawaii one. This one's nice. I tried doing a um, Hawaii color scheme of myself on one of my figures right there. Uh, I didn't quite have the right paints for it, so it didn't quite come out like this, but this looks really good. I love the metallic blues. Uh, I can't tell what the, Oh, this is cast in pink. Um, that is really nice right there on the back. That is cool. I love the contrast with the oranges and the black. He has just silver eyes with black dots um, versus the standard release, which has the classic psychedelic Hedora eyes, um, so that's really cool. This one is cast in this gray, black, sludgy plastic, and some really nice uh, dry brushing of yellows and a red all the, all throughout. This is a nice sculpt. I really like this. You can kind of get them in just a like a zombie pose. But um, Hedora really leads itself to being a really good base for awesome and funky colors. Now taking a look at our Japanese toy, the CCP middle size Hedera. And this color scheme is called Tokyo. So whereas this is called Hawaii, this red, green, black, and yellow color scheme is typically referred to as the Tokyo color scheme, which look a lot like this. And as you saw, on the back of the Super 7 packaging. This is the Tokyo color scheme right here. But I just decided to get it in the Japanese vinyl instead of the Super 7 this time. So I'm going to lift the screw, the um, staples back here. Pro tip, you don't have to just rip these cards off. You can just kind of lift these staples and kind of pop it open and you can always just fold them the other way when you're done. 
Oh, nice. So this is our CCP middle size hetera. That is really nice. Couple articulation points right here. Uh, I don't even know if you could call this an articulation point. It's just kind of where it plugs in. It does move a little bit. You got some arms that swivel a different way than the Super 7. And you've got a head swivel. Look at that. That really adds some personality to this figure, I feel like. That is really cool. And of course, this is in a, a soft vinyl, which is beautiful. Uh, and awesome sculpt all the way through. This is really, really nice. Once again, I love the funky colors on this. Uh, the red is really vibrant. That is really nice. The green's nice, real nice glossy black right there. This is really cool. So let's bring in our other Hedera figures that we just looked at. And as you can see, they're all about the same size. Uh, maybe the CCP one is a little bit wider and just, I mean, the slightest bit taller. Let's bring out a tape measure. Super 7 stands at mm, four and a half inches and CCP is maybe about 4.75 inches. So they are all about in the same range. Bringing in some figures from each respective company to do some comparisons. Here is a... CCP Godzilla 1964. He's got a little Mothra at the end. That's adorable. Mothra is articulated. And here is a Super 7 reaction. Godzilla 1957, right? 1957. He was from like a blind box. And as you can see, the uh, Godzillas from the Super 7 line are way smaller than Hedera, which is cool that they uh, acknowledge that size difference. Uh, between the two monsters, whereas the CCP Godzilla is actually a little bit taller than the CCP Hedera. But uh, nonetheless, you don't buy these guys for accuracy. You buy them just for their straight, cool, collectible, adorable, and colorful attributes. So there you go, guys. There was just a quick look at some cool Hedera's that I got for my birthday. My Hedera collection went from like one figure to suddenly four or five really colorful, awesome figures. So I hope you guys check these out. I got these two from the Godzilla store. Uh, and this guy was a present, I believe, from Amazon. You can get this Hedera, the Hawaii colorway, from Amazon now, too. So you can get both these on Amazon, or I believe you could actually get all of these on the Godzilla store. And make sure to check if the Godzilla store has some kind of promotion, you know, 15% off if you sign up for our newsletter or sign up for text messages and get free shipping. There's a lot of really good deals for first-time users, so definitely check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!